What is up, M. Affer, Super Jack for today's video. Taking two of your, your favorite sidekicks of the Melican Fishing family out. Do a little pre-spawn slaunch hunting on a little black Betty right here back behind me. But before we start the video, I wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. You've been asking me about this guy right here. It's the Angler Tracker. A lot of you guys went and downloaded the Angler app and you've been tracking your catches. Basically, this little bullseye right here connects to an app on your phone, the Angler, A-N-G-L-R app. And that allows you to track all of the conditions, the exact locations where you got your fish you can keep them private you can keep them you can share them with your friends you can share them with the community whatever you want but this little clicker right here has allowed me to track a bunch of awesome information already in the short time I've been using it that's helped me go out and catch some more fish well the dudes at angler actually asked me to make what they are calling an intelligence pack so basically what the intelligence pack is it's a private map to a lake a specific lake that has a bunch of waypoints hot spots on it different places that you can go out and use to go catch a bunch of fish. The guys at Angler were like, hey man, we need you to pick somewhere that you've gone a bunch of times, you have a lot of experience on, and it's very popular to go fish for the MFR Nation, to do an intelligence pack, to put together like a, a guide trip. Basically, this is gonna be a guide trip. It'll be like if I was over your shoulder telling you guys exactly what to throw under what conditions. Now, I travel all over the place. I've been to a bunch of local lakes, a whole bunch, um, but one that I've been to a lot, have gathered a lot of experience on, is a tough body of water to break down, yet I know they're there's a ton of people that want to go out and fish it is Lake of the Ozarks and my favorite time to fish it is in the late winter pre-spawn period. People ask me all the time what lake I should go to if I want to catch some good bass within 5-10 hours of where I'm located right here and one of the hottest bites in the entire country the last month has been Lake of the Ozarks. So I created a Lake of the Ozarks intelligence pack with a bunch of my favorite spots, the baits to throw under what conditions, exactly what to look for. So you guys can hit the link right down below, go pick that up and catch some fish yourself. Now if you have no interest in going to Lake of the Ozarks, you guys can still get that pack and use it in a lot of your local fisheries to know exactly what I would do under what conditions and what spots. It'll help you out on lakes around the country. So like I said, go hit the link right down below. It helps out my channel and everything that we're trying to do with Angler and help you guys catch more fish. Okay, let's go catch some fish ourselves. See you at the lake. What's up, MFers? Welcome to an exciting video. Actually, it's gonna be extra exciting today because we have Tucker with us. Oh, we also have Brian and Dirty stash man. He, uh, Ryan drove up from Kansas last night. I'm like, hey, you gotta come fish this lake because there's docks in it, and we got some good conditions for it. We got overcast. Um, there's there's a storm coming in, and there's giant bass. And I always tell you guys that whenever we come here, that there's giants. There really, truly is giants. We just have not caught them on video yet. There's five pounders in here that we've caught, but there is like eight to ten pounders potentially. So shallow, muddy lake. We got stuff sexual stuff like uh, old whitey tied on right there. I think the conditions are setting up right. We're gonna launch the boat in. Let's, uh, let's get out there and start catching some some stuff. What's what's the uh, wager today for... Uh, first for, fish over five shotguns a bush light. First fish over five pounds has to shotgun a bush light with Tucker. Tucker has to do one with us. Excuse me, Tuck. Okay, time to fish. Starting here because they were here last year, so I'm sure they didn't move at all. Shallow, as you guys can see, pad stems. That's Tucker. Um, water was 55. And so it's time to drop hammers and whatnot. Dude, I haven't seen any activity on the live scope since we came to these laydowns. Be a bluegill. Probably not though. I think it's. I think it's just a little dude. True. Little guys, man. Here it comes. That's not small. Please tighten. Yeah, it's an improvement <laughs> over the nothing. Fish. <laughs> God damn it. Just had to have him eat it 17 times first, right? Oh, we're good, dude. We don't need that. He's not that big. You don't think he's like 10? No. He's probably not a 10. Yay! We caught one! Get him, Tucker! Get him! It's caught yeah. Saturday, too. Oh. The old retread spot. 
catch one. I think there's more than one, dude. Nice little three and a half guy. What do you think, dude? Give him love to talk. Okay, say goodbye. Everyone's been asking, how come you haven't thrown the ring fry? It's thrown the ring fry. Well, because it's not around the spawn time. Pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post ring fry. Boom. No other time of the season. What do you got back there? Good God. That one grew. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Into the energy drink. Oh! <laughs> On the inbred jig. Kerplow! <laughs> Just dragging it behind the boat. Trolling the jig. Oh, shit. That's fantastic. Well, both bites have been dragging. And they've both been good quality. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for like sure. Ryan, so I like, <laughs> Ooh, I just had one chase it all the way in. Interesting. Huh. I can't believe it's only 10 30. Mm. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Dragging the mud with the inbred. Another fish, Tuck. Back, fucker. Got him. Good God, you're vicious today. Tucker has no chill. He waited so long, and now he's just gonna destroy. What do you think, bud? It's a fat one on the inbred. Say goodbye, Tuck. You bet. That one was at least seven. All right, guys. Lake number A was a big old pile of... Well, it wasn't a total big old pile of turds. The stash man caught one that was probably four and a half pounds or so. I caught, what, two? One that was two and a half and one that was three and a half. Nothing great, but we kind of fished everything. The only pattern we really got on was dragging a jig in the mud. It's kind of gross on these lakes when you're just dragging it off the bank. There's no offshore cover, it just wasn't working. But hey, we're going somewhere else. We're gonna get Brian his first ever Nebraska bass. You're a liar, there's fake news. There's no fish in Nebraska That's, or that's why I go on guide trips with Brian and he doesn't come on guide trips with me because I don't know how to find fish. Till the next lake, let's see you there. Okay, lake number two, wind spawn about 387 miles an hour. Big storm blew through actually. And we just drove through that nonsense. But uh, yeah, Joshua just pulled up. We got, we got the, the fish, find. Tucker told us to go to this lake. We're gonna come here, and he's like, you guys need to go. So we listened to him, and this the one? This the one? Huh? 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 His tail's wagging. That means yes. All right, folks, let's go catch some there. Hey, I, I should probably reel it in. He hit it on the fall, man. No, on a lipless. I thought he felt like a fish. Then I tried to snatch it out of his mouth. With the snatch, too. Oh, Tucker. You get it? Tucker, look what I found. There are fish in here. Might be a little group of them there. He hit it on the damn fall. All right, new lake. New new lip lesson. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's keep doing that. Oh, God. Pigging. He's still coming. <laughs> He's still coming. Hey, this bank might be something though. That's your new PB, and then I also caught a tiny one. Ooh, look at that koi. Oh, yep. Dude. Gosh, <laughs> I bumped him. Look how bright that son bitch is. How did he not get eaten by a bass? Got everything, homie? Uh, I'll probably see you next month. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple months. <laughs> we'll call it July. Take it easy, man. Later. Good luck. Be good. Yeah. We're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no. A fish. You snuck one. Yes. <laughs> so freaking windy. <laughs> so windy. Tucker's happy you did. 
back in a windblown pocket. We're about to die back here. About to sink the ship. It's blowing 92. Yeah, give him kiss. Ha. Huh. Wow. Ha. Huh. There are fish in Nebraska. There are fish in Nebraska, I swear. Yep, let's, if we're gonna do it, we gotta go. Definitely was not the best day on the lake compared to some of the lake days we've had out lately, but we made the most of it despite the wind. We still caught some fish. Hornstash caught a good fish, of course. He's back there doodle socking his jig, dragging it behind the boat and accidentally caught a damn five pounder. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Sometimes the bites fire, you catch them cranking in the pre-spawn phase. Sometimes you drag a damn jig in the mud. Regardless, you gotta take visual cues and, and mood cues from these fish. It was very clear from the start they were not going to be active in the usual places where they bite. So we would just slowed, slow, slowed way down and uh, picked up some nice fish and then battled the damn wind and uh, at least caught a couple doing that. Like I said earlier, please click the link down below. Go pick up one of those intelligence packs if you're interested in the Lake of the Ozarks pack. If not, I'd love if you'd comment down below and tell me where you think I should make an intelligence pack of next, where you want to learn how to fish. Whatever gets the most comments will probably be the next intelligence pack so I can break down that fishery and have you guys go catch fish there. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate your time and efforts. I'm out of here. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine.